Hi guys! Story time! Today we're reading Spinderella by Julia Donaldson and Sebastian Braun. Sebastian Braun. It's a good fun book, this one. The children of Scuttleton Primary School were eating their dinner. Fish fingers, potatoes and peas. You see them all in there, in the dining hall, eating their dinner? High above them, the spiders of Scuttleton Primary School were eating their dinner. Flies, flies and flies. Yuck. There they are up there. How many flies have we got today, Mum? Asked Spinderella, the smallest spider. Lots, said Mum. Loads, said her brothers and sisters. That's not a number, complained Spinderella. Never mind about numbers. Eat up your flies, said Mum. After dinner, the children went out to play football. The spiders swung down to watch. What a tackle, they cried. And yippee, the children scored goal after goal. How many goals is that, Mum? asked Spinderella. Lots, said Mum. Loads, said her brothers and sisters. Spinderella sighed. <sighs> what a family. How will I ever learn about numbers? What's to learn? When the children had gone home, Spinderella said, Why don't we play football? Don't be silly, said her biggest brother, Speedy. We haven't got a ball, said her second biggest brother, Scrabble. I can see a pea on the floor, said Spinderella. We can use that. It's clever, isn't it? Mum chose Speedy and Scrabble as the captains of each team. Nearly all the spiders decided to join Speedy's team because he was the fastest runner. Oh no. There's Scrabble, there, all on his own. Spinderella. And another brother over there. This is Mum. She's the biggest. Speedy's team scored all the goals. It's not fair! The spiders on Scrabble's team shouted. Yes, it is. You're just jealous! Shouted the spiders on Speedy's team. To make things worse, the spiders hurt their legs kicking the pea. It's really quite hard kicking a pea. Spiders, little legs. Before long, they were all quarrelling, moaning and kicking each other instead of the pea. Mum had to blow her whistle. You see them in a big pile over there, look. What's she blowing? It's a straw. You think a straw is a whistle? How many spiders should we have in each team? Mum, asked Spinderella. Uh, lots, said Mum. Loads! said her brothers and sisters. I think both teams should have the same number, said Spinderella, but her brothers and sisters all turned on her. Down with numbers, they yelled. Next morning, Spinderella woke early. She felt sad. I wish I could learn about numbers, she sighed. And so you shall, came a loud voice. I wonder who that is. <gasps> Spinderella spun around and saw an enormous hairy spider. Who are you? asked Spinderella. I am your hairy godmother, said the enormous spider. Follow me. Spinderella scuttled after her, out of the dinner hall, along a corridor, and into a classroom. What do we do in classrooms? We learn, don't we? And up to the ceiling. Can you see them? Here they are. Spinderella looked down, Spinderella looked down and saw the teacher come in to the classroom with a pile of football bibs. Keep your eyes and ears open, said the hairy godmother. And in a flash, she was gone. Now, I want you to count yourselves, said the teacher. There should be 20 of you, but let's check. Can you do the counting with me? 
You ready? What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's twenty, isn't it? Then came the most wonderful sound. The children took turns to shout out a number from one to twenty. Spinderella swung joyfully backwards and forwards in time to the counting. She's finally learning her numbers. The teacher gave out football bibs. Put them on and find the others with the same colour, he said. Soon there were two groups of children. How many in each team? asked the teacher. The children counted again. Ten reds, said a girl in red. Ten blues said a boy in blue. The same number, shouted Spinderella. She was so excited that she let go of her thread. <gasps> what happens if a spider lets go of its thread? It falls down, doesn't it? Look, a spider, squash it, screamed someone. Spinderella froze in terror. Let's put it out of the window, said the teacher. And he did. That's what we should do with spiders. Don't step on them catch them and put them outside. That's where they belong. Suddenly, Spinderella was outside. I'm lost, she wailed. I'll never see my mum again. But then she turned round and spotted two football goals. I know where I am, she said. She scuttled round the outside of the school, in through the open window of the dinner hall. See that look? She's coming from the tree outside and in through the dinner hall up to the normal place where they have their dinner and up to the web hello mom i can count up to 20 she said never mind about that eat up your flies said mom i'm going to count them first said spinderella and she did i've got 14 flies she told her brothers and sisters so what they said down with numbers up with flies and football That night, the spiders decided to play football again. Mum, said Spinderella, I've been counting. There are ten of us, so we need five spiders on each side. Some of the spiders muttered, down with numbers, but Mum shut them up. Spinderella sorted them into two teams of five. She was in Scrabble's team, and she also helped Mum to keep the score. This time, no one quarrelled or kicked each other, and at half time, each team had scored three goals. But still the spiders kept hurting their spindly legs, kicking the pea. I wish we had some football boots, sighed Spinderella. What do you think is going to happen? And so you shall, came a voice. It was the hairy godmother again. How many boots do you each need, she asked. Lots, said Mum. Loads, said Spinderella's brothers and sisters. That's not good enough, said the hairy godmother. I need to have a number. How many legs does a spider have? Eight, that's right. Eight, shouted Spinderella. We've each got eight legs, so we each need eight boots. Done! said the hairy godmother. There was a flash, and there on the floor there were ten little piles of boots. Each pile had eight boots in it. The spiders put them on and laced them up. Then they had a wonderful second half. They scored goal after goal. The hairy godmother clapped and clapped. It, with only a minute left to go, each team had scored eight goals. It's going to be a draw muttered Spinderella. But just then, the ball came her way and she gave it an almighty kick. She is, look. There's some magic going on. Bang. Spinderella had scored the winning goal. All the spiders ran up to her. They picked her up and all together they cheered. 
Up with Spinderella! Up with numbers! Yay! It's a fun book, wasn't it? So, what did we learn from today's book? One of the lessons I think is it's always important to play together. A lot of our brothers and sisters are all like, oh, we don't want to do what you want to do. Forget your numbers and all of that business. Flies and football, that's all we want. But she wanted to learn. And as we know, knowledge is power. So remember to always be kind. They were a bit horrible to her because she wanted to learn some new stuff, but they were like, no, we don't want to learn. We just want to play football all the time. Now, when the hairy godmother came, they needed to know how many boots. It was lucky for them that Spinderella had concentrated on her counting and she learnt her numbers in school so that they all got the football boots that they wanted. So knowledge really is power. Hope you enjoyed today's story. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you liked the video, don't forget to like the video. Um, share it with all your friends. Let me know, as always, if you've got any recommendations for books. And until next time, keep reading. Books are knowledge, and knowledge is power. Keep reading. Till next time, good night.